Let the hybridization lessons continue. Okay, I'm going to draw out an unfeasibly huge and weird molecule, and then I'll tell you the hybridization, and then see if you can work out the trick to doing it. Alrighty, that carbon is sp3, 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 sp2, sp1. Well, there is no sp1, so that's really sp, even though I put a 1. I had to put something. sp2, sp2, the oxygen is also sp2, sp1, sp1, which is really sp. All right, have you worked out how I'm doing it? Exactly. It's the charge centers. Four charge centers means it's sp3. Four charge centers, sp3. That nitrogen has four charge centers. Don't forget, the Lewis structure will show you the fourth one there, sp3. Three charge centers, sp2. Got a pi bond as well there now. Two charge centers, sp1. A couple of pi bonds. Three charge centers, sp2, three charge centers, sp2, and that oxygen, don't forget, join the Lewis to work out that there are indeed three charge centers, sp2, two charge centers, sp, two charge centers, sp. <whistles> Let me just write that out. Four charge centers, sp3, three charge centers, sp2, and two charge centers, sp1. Well, we don't use the one, we just say sp. I know what you're thinking, what's a charge center? Oh, you haven't watched that video. Okay, a charge center is a single bond, a double bond, a triple bond, or a lone pair. That, my friend, is what a charge center could be. They also want you to look at inorganic examples, so let me draw a bunch of those out. Three charge centers, sp2, it's 120 degrees, trigonal planar, remember? That looks linear, but I deliberately drew it wrong. The shape isn't linear. If it's sp2, it's going to be based on 120 degrees. As is that one. Based on 120 degrees, it's going to be a zigzag. That's just sp, and that's 180 degrees. Water, that's sp3, because there's four charge centers, so it could be any of those three angles. And for ammonium, again, four charge centers, so it's going to be sp3 and it's based on that 109 and a half, 107 or 105. Well in this case it would be 109 and a half. Regular tetrahedron and we're done.